Okay, so thank you very much for coming to this um, uh, focus group uh, linked to our Learning Futures project. Um, I'd just like to go around the room initially and just you know, get everyone to introduce themselves. So I'm Dave, Dave Monk, and I'm one of the project uh, managers in the college. Do you want to? Yep, uh, my name's Kieran, and uh, I'm a student studying business. Uh, my name's Sally and I'm a student studying business. Okay. My name's Ellie and I'm a student studying business. Uh, my name's Ben and I'm a student studying business. Okay. And my name's Laquan and I'm a student studying business. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, my first question really to you all, and obviously, you know, chip in if you've got different views and, and so on, uh, but what, what do you all understand by the term e learning? Um, well, me personally, I see e-learning as something that takes learning away from the classic textbook, whiteboard, reading off the board, copying out of a textbook sort of thing, and actually being a lot more interactive with the student, thinking of new ways to help the student learn instead of just doing the same old things that has, have been going on for years. Okay, anybody else? Like learning through the internet, like using the internet to help support and teach students. Mm -hmm. I, I agree, it is I think, an online way of learning, but as it to be more diverse, it's different, but it's only like one way, so if you needed to learn more into it, you're going to have to use the internet instead of just the e-learning. Mm. Okay, so I mean, a sort of follow-up to that is, what benefits do you see in e-learning? Um, you've given some ideas. Learning but... like different techniques and stuff, mm. so rather than just learning how to write and listen, you learn how to sort of interact with your teachers in a different way. Okay, do you want to go into that in more detail? Like more? Learning new technology a lot faster, so mm. then you know different things and all that through a new way. Yeah. Uh, go on. <laughs> go on. Uh, uh, personally, I don't like reading and listening to a textbook, so actually I think it will help me develop as a learner, because if I'm reading a textbook and writing, it goes in one ear, it goes out the other, so it's, <laughs> it's a lot easier for me personally. Okay. A huge benefit that I feel about e-learning is that if you're late for class one day or you uh, you miss college for another reason, whether it's illness or another reason, that you can you don't necessarily have to miss the lesson. Even though you've missed the class, you can do it at home and look at find out what you've missed. Yeah, I find that a benefit. So the same as what Laquan said. Um, I remember when Karen was first sort of introducing me to it, and she said to save a whole two hours in class <clears throat> of um, watching me do a big presentation lecture, I can upload it in a short video onto a website. You can then look at it, come into the class, be fully ready, fully briefed, and you can just get on with it straight away. And you can repeat it, or you can go back on it if you can't remember something. Mm. You don't need the current to teach it, like repeat it. Mm. You can be more independent with it as well. More independent, mm. yeah. Yeah, no, that's good. OK. Um, I mean, you, you, you all sound very positive about that, but can you think of any uh, sort of drawbacks or particular challenges? If it breaks. Mm -hmm. um, if it yeah. breaks. If it I'd breaks. say it's probably technology can always go wrong, no matter yeah. what it is. It can always somehow mm -hmm. malfunction, or there can always be some sort of issue, which some iPads already have had mm -hmm. some right. sort of issue, which have now been fixed, luckily mm -hmm. enough, but it, there can always be issues, unlike if it was the old way of learning, getting taught and out of the textbook, there's nothing that can really go wrong. Mm. You might get some students as well who struggle using like online and the internet to learn and prefer it the typical textbook listening way. Mm. Like what I said, um, if you do miss a class, which was my like um, advantage to it, then you can do it at home. But if the disadvantage to that same point is if you was to do it at home, unlike university or how the classic college you don't get someone to deliver it to you either so you develop on the knowledge that the book already gives you because the teacher gives you their insight to it and how you can put that forward but if you had to do an assignment at home without any help from a teacher you're basing it off of what you can you're, you're see basing it off the, of yeah, what you can opinion, see yeah. without a second opinion sometimes you need that little extra explanation to yeah. help you set you in the right direction of what it is you're doing I mean, in terms of the sort of blended learning approach um the idea is that you'd have this online content and then when you have 
followed that through through tutorials, you would get more interaction. You'd be able to ask us questions. Does mm. that? Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Mm. Does that sound better? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 then that way, if you were a bit confused or you don't understand exactly what you've got to do, you have a chance to mm. have Just it explained to you by the tutor. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we don't envisage the role of the tutor um, changing radically, but we do see some very clear changes in the way the relationship exists with students. Can you think of any other sort of drawbacks or challenges to e-learning? I mean, you've all been given out an iPad by the college. Um, what kind of access did you have before that? Just like laptops and computers. Just like laptops and computers. Yeah. And, and this in, in the home environment, would you have to share that equipment with other, other members no, of the family? No. Or? No. <laughs> no. We didn't. Because there was this lap, it wasn't like, like the iPads are good, but it wasn't like our personal laptops that we was given, so mm. we couldn't take them home at home. What we'd done is literally, we didn't really have to share, but if it's like a, a house computer, then you would, obviously. Mm. Mm. But none of you have been put in that position? No. no. Not no. in no. but OK. Um, so... How confident do you all feel about using different mobile devices? We talked about tablets and okay. laptops and smartphones. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. pretty confident. Yeah, very confident. Yeah. Yeah. I had a smartphone for a long time. Have you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> kind of got my head around how to work it now. <laughs> right, and do you use it for online access? Yeah, all yeah. the time. All I do a time. lot of internet shopping on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've pretty much found that my phone has pretty much cut out use of my laptop completely because yeah, yeah, I, I can do everything my on my phone. Mm. 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 Don't use my laptop anymore. Do you not? No, I hardly ever no. use my laptop now. Mm. I don't. It's pretty much you can just do the same thing as you could on a laptop. It's a lot quicker. Mm. A lot, yeah, a lot of sites, yeah. like a lot of websites as well, have like a mobile site as well. Mm. So you're not actually loading like a full desktop page. You are loading like a mobile version of the mm. site, which loads quicker. A lot of and it seems, apps as yeah, well. it's just easier apps and everything. Top shop had their own app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about? I mean, you mentioned um, hearing about the Socrative quizzes that you've been doing. Yeah. Mm. Um, have you? used your smartphones for those? No. Um, we haven't really, no, because obviously we've been given the iPad, so mm. we kind of come in and that's just the basis that we go to now. We don't need to go and find laptops, it's just iPads straight out, and it's like, I'll go on Socrative, and you've got the app on there and everything, mm. so it's... Okay, all right. That's normally the go-to <laughs> thing. Okay, that's all good. So, if you were... Uh, the next question I'm going to ask you is, if you could mark your confidence level and go around individually on this out of five with five being extremely confident and one with no confidence at all um, how confident are you with using um, technology e-learning generally uh, um, I would say four 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 pushing on to five mm. I would probably say five because I've had an iPad at home and that sort of thing, yeah. so I've used it in that sort of way. Right. I'd Sally. probably say four. Sally? Probably two, three. Two, three. Yeah. Why? I don't like technology. Do you not? <laughs> what, what, can, would you like to explain that in a bit more detail? I have trouble ordering things. I have trouble. I lose all my work. I just can't use it. <laughs> so, so, when, so when we were talking about the disadvantages, you kept quiet about that, and you were saying, yes, we use the technology a lot, but actually yeah. you personally still had trouble with that? Yeah, I'd rather like, walk you and give you the work in my hand rather than just send it to you. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, because mm. I'd just lose it. Or it wouldn't get to you, but I just know it wouldn't get to you. <laughs> do, you do you use email a lot? or Not really. No. No. Okay. So 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 that being the case, um, Sally, do you think do you think you're gonna struggle a bit with this online element in your, in well, your course? I've done so many mistakes, so I'm probably learning from them now, so well, that's interesting. <laughs> no, I mean seriously that that probably is. Okay. All right, Kieran, how's your confidence level? I would rate mine, I'd say five, probably the same as Ben. I've mm. had technology my whole life really. I've never been without it, so I kind of rely on it now if anything. Have you I mean you've all have you all had technology all of your lives? Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, even when you're not sure that you're gonna doing it, you still yeah. always have yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very interesting because yeah, we, we refer to you now as our digital natives mm. uh, <laughs> and people of my age were, you know, although we were sort of involved using computers very early on, uh, we would always refer to ourselves as digital immigrants because we had to teach ourselves <laughs> how to use it, whereas you've all grown up. If you look at like sort of 
my sister's nine and she literally relies on her iPad and her phone and everything. And when I was nine, I didn't... Barbies. Even though I still did have the technology, I was also still able to play with toys. <laughs> well, she, doesn't know how to do, she doesn't know how to do that. The only thing she knows how to play is games on iPad. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that mm. seems a bit of a shame, but, you know, that's not really necessary. Sort of, but it is important, actually. It's, it, would that be true for the rest of you when you were... Children, younger, did uh, you yeah. still play with toys? Still yeah. play with toys. Still play with toys. Still play with toys. What about? I mean, what about? Has anybody else got a younger sibling um, like, like Ellie um, that you can sort of see? My any great difference? niece. Your great niece. Yeah. yeah. What does she do? She. She loves her dolls. Else. She so. don't like. She doesn't like technology. Our whole family don't like technology. <laughs> <laughs> I think Interesting. Oh, well, I think <laughs> if you look yeah. at a lot of youngsters today, they are very reliant on technology, yeah. even yes. from ages of about four or five. And they all have yeah. their phones. I've, I've got like a, uh, a close family friend, and he's just turned ten, I think. Mm. And he's, he, had, he got like an iMac for Christmas. He's got an iPhone six. Like, mm. When I was that age, I. I wouldn't even have wanted one of that. Yeah, that's I what I mean. I, I was still like, playing with like toys in the bath yeah. and stuff I like that. I had like a cheap little Samsung phone for when I played yeah. park with yeah. my friends. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it does sort of throw up some interesting sort of ideas and questions for the future generations about how they'll be. I've got a grandson who is coming up three and my uh, daughter is a, a, a store manager of a three store um, so obviously technology is a very much part of her mm. everyday life and uh, I suppose that'd be as the well. same for your grandson. So I think it will at the moment he has lots of toys as well but <laughs> I've just seen with his iPad. <laughs> okay we better move on. Um, so again this is sort of in a way, a personal one, but what what do you each want to be learning to do for you personally? Do you want to work? <laughs> no, um, be different ways of, obviously, give us the work, because that's what it does already, but maybe different ways and different ideas. Like, you know online, you get reviews, and that maybe someone can write on there, maybe a teacher can see that... Um, could see the work or whatever themselves and maybe write a little bit of explanation in case someone didn't understand that. Like Sally said she might, she might struggle with that mm. and she's not going to be the only student. I know on some assignments I could struggle or someone mm. else, even though I am better with technology. So if someone was to write us something to <coughs> give us a developed understanding of it, that yeah. would help. Uh, okay. Uh, just generally make the work a lot easier. Mm. If you're looking for a textbook for well, to try and find the correct page, you can easily just type it on the internet, and it's a lot quicker, a lot easier to use. Um, have, you, have you ever used e-books at all? Uh, I used the Ebri on have my you iPad. E-Bri? Yeah, yeah. Um, we used it on our iPad, and then you can switch between two very easily. You don't have to keep looking away. You can mm. just one button, and you're there onto a search. We're back on Word or on the Ebri and that sort of thing. Mm. Are you still it's using Ebri? Uh, we still use it quite a bit, yeah, mm-hmm. especially with um, aim and more than anyone. Yeah, yeah I know it's it's the unit's thing. all on there. Yeah. Okay, Ellie, what about you for personally? For Just like, what, yeah, what do you want from it? Um, like them using different ways to present it to you. So, like sometimes they'll present a task to you in like a video link that mm. you can watch them, and they're literally teaching the lesson, but they're there in front of you, and mm. you can rewind them and forward them if you need extra help, like mm. if you've missed a bit. Or like say having a presentation where again it's got it's got more of an explanation on it, mm. some bullet points like underneath it just to extend the explanation a little bit more to help you understand it better. Okay. And stuff like that. Sally, go on, you're you're <laughs> challenged now. Because uh, I mean what would you really want e learning to do for you personally? Um, How can it really benefit you, do you think? Uh, it's quicker and it'll show me the work, I suppose, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, and uh, Kieran. Um, for me, I'd want it to save me quite a lot of time because, I mean, you could spend hours upon hours reading through a textbook and, say, if you've got an iPad or something in front of you, you can literally, like, you can, on an iPad, for example, you can select it and hit speak and it'll just read it out to you. You don't have to sit there reading it for hours. You don't, it, I don't know, it just seems like something that could save a lot of time instead of... Mm still the same thing, handwriting, typing is a lot quicker and just things like that. I think it would just save me a lot of time in general. Okay, it's smashing. Okay, now, this is, I, I feel free to be really honest about this. If there was one thing in the college you could change now regarding e-learning, 
ideally to improve it, what would it be? Mm. And think about Probably, I would just say adding more use to it. Obviously, we we are using it at the moment, but because it's early days, we are still kind of restricted with the things that we can do. So I think one improvement could be expanding on it even further so it is literally all interactive and still not a little bit of delivery and kind of thing, making it all interactive, that's what I think. Okay. Anybody got any other? Mine, <clears throat> more contrast with that, I, mean, I was going to say give us more of a choice as well because going back to the example, sorry, Sally, but some, <laughs> some people don't find that as easy as others. Yeah. Like Kieran Rachel, and, Kieran and Ben said they was like a five at being strong at that, but... I said I'm a four pushing to five, meaning like sometimes, like I said, I can find it difficult myself and Sally and maybe others. So making it all interactive would maybe work to our disadvantage instead of our advantage, mm. which, yeah, which I think you could eventually make it 100% interactive, but bring it to us slowly instead of more immediate. Yeah, it might be pushing some. Yeah, yeah, now we're pushing to have more like interactive lessons and using online to teach us, but maybe allow us the time sort of and help us to learn how to use it rather than just here's an iPad, download these apps, this is what like, get on with it. Mm. Have more explanation as in, well, what does this app do and how do we use this app? Because a lot of the time they're like, yeah, right, you need this app. All you've got to do is put in this, this like password and then just answer the questions that come up, and it's like, well, yeah, okay, that's fine. But what what are we doing by like what are we doing by using this? How is this helping us? And how are we gonna like how do we use this when you're not there to tell us how to use it? Sort mm. of thing. Yeah. So more guidance, really. In yeah, that like, sense. like yeah. You left alone with it. <laughs> <laughs> don't get left alone with it. Well, Sally, I don't know. You. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm worried about what you might do with these. <laughs> yeah, don't take it home. <laughs> no, but developing on what Ellie said, like mm. it's right. They should take us through because like. Basically, what they done with us, they were saying, download this app, do this, do that. And on some of them, we had to put in our personal details. And obviously, being at college, we would have done that because it's necessary. But to put in our personal details, we should and would like to know more. Like, when you set up an Apple account, no one reads it, but there's terms and conditions and things like mm. what it's for. That's we did it. four pages long. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's why nobody reads it. The, mm. the teacher said, download this, it's like necessary you do. And on the app before we can use it we have to put in our personal details until some of like we know it is we might not feel comfortable Mm. to do that so yeah and as well like with the sort of obviously you don't have microsoft on an ipad so you have a different version of like word and powerpoint but it's a lot even though it's quite literally the same to use but the way you sort of save it and where it saves to is a lot different Mm. and they haven't ever really gone through that with us it was kind of like yeah just make sure you save it to OneDrive so that it's saved rather than and don't just save it to your iPad because the iPads can go down and you will lose all your work Mm. and you may have to like re-download the like the word app because obviously did you there's quite a few other people that have actually lost like halfway through a bit of work they didn't explain to us that if you save it to OneDrive even if your app like your word app does go down it will mm. still be on it'll it will be still be there yeah, yeah, but they didn't would. really explain that to mm-hmm. us do, do any of you use um, just sort of personal use um, the Google accounts um, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so you could also save it to Google yeah. as yeah. well Google Plus and things like that so you're not you're not just restricted, not just restricted to one that, yeah. But yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and in, actually just thinking a bit more about the general technology in the college is there anything else in the college technology as a whole that you'd like to sort of comment on positively or negatively <laughs> why do you look at me when you say I'm that? sorry <laughs> <laughs> anybody <laughs> maybe I'm more like drawing and more like writing involved hmm. I've, <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. technology wise I think they should update a lot of the computers because the library's where people should study in a university, in a school, in a college where we are. So in the college, I'll go in there, there's only like maybe 15 to 20 computers anyway. And when you go in there, it's almost a guarantee that two to three are down and they don't get fixed for a good two, like three to four weeks anyway. So for that, and then by the time they get fixed, another one's down. So I think they should invest in more technology or newer computers so this doesn't happen. 
as much. Yeah. yeah, I agree. And I also think that each department should, not just business, obviously, because we are business students, but each department should all have the same technology, in a sense, because there's, like, all of the A-level students mm. have got, like, Macs. <coughs> Before yeah. that, we had, like... Dell, Whip, yeah, Dell, Dell laptops, laptops that laptops are about laptops. 20 yeah, years old, sort of sometimes. thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it did kind of feel like well, they're in there with all of their gadgets, yeah, yeah. gadgets and stuff, yeah. and we're on like it's, a laptop that, that takes half hour to boot up. To media, and you look at all the technology yeah, they yeah, have yeah, and use. Well, and okay, yeah, they're media and they use like Photoshop and everything. And okay, we business and we don't really use Photoshop, but even as business students, like if you go into an office. They have so much, like so much technology, like computers, laptops, iPads, <coughs> like um, like big screen TVs and projectors on the walls. Like we, you walk into our, you walk onto our floor, and it literally just looks like an empty building with chairs it's and like tables. Like mm. mm. building yeah. site because like there's so much work. Right? Yeah. Say, they, are, they are building, changing yeah. the environment yeah. at the yeah. moment. And then, in fact. but what what I think is like going on what they said, they should treat us all fairly because we was in a B block and we got moved to K, mm. Mm. and we was there. B- business was in B block for a while, and we had had the same technology. Then the first side, the summer we moved. A level moves in there and they got max. They like it's like the college wanting to invest into them, thinking and that's us. Like, give, them a, give them a better building, yeah. give them better hardware, and just move us out. Yeah. Yeah, wanting to invest in them like they're more important than us yeah. when it's, we're, we're all students just at the same yeah. college. Feel a little bit think? like sort of shoot out the way, like yeah. you're not we're like, we're, we've got to focus on A levels because A levels are the one that determine like where we are. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Hopefully that isn't the case, but uh, I mean, you, you now will benefit because you use the iPads yes do, yeah. do you keep the iPads personally to take iPads. home or do you have them yeah, yeah. No, no we, take, we do take them home <laughs> I haven't actually got my iPad yet they, they didn't order enough oh right okay because so. what happened is we had four new students join mm. and because I was off the day they got handed out those four new students got them and the four students that have been here for nearly 18 months are still without an iPad <laughs> <laughs> really that's yes. interesting yeah. All right. yeah, yeah. No, we, uh, mm. we are allowed to take them home mm. yeah so. we take them home mm. do what we like them so in that sense, you've got more freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of you like can access you can you, you can phones. still ha- yeah you can still have like your own apps on it and that. But obviously, that's for your own time. You yeah. do what you want with it in are your you, own time. Not, are you not restricted by what apps you can download? No, not no, at all. No, 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 it's completely yeah. free. The only thing that they've got on there is um, a tracker that determines our location. So if you say, oh, mm. I think I might have lost my iPad, they can type in the mm. code for it and it'll. Pop up with you exactly yeah. where it is. Yeah. If well, it's at know. your house and you yeah, yeah. lost it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, it's a sta- that's the standard um, part of an iPad anyway, I believe. But it's a. Uh Okay. Um, is there anything else anybody wants to add? Any thoughts, general comments about our approach, and the way we want to go ahead with this blended learning I think approach? It's a good idea. Do you? I yeah. think it's a good idea, just not too much. Just not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get carried away with it, like because it's good to have like your iPad, but then you should have like a book next to you, so then you don't have to keep picking about. Mm. Let's see, I disagree. <clears throat> I think. Yeah, it's a good idea, and I mean, like I said, eventually we will get there, but the reason I think Sally's thinking like that is because we've had it for so many years and we're just at the beginning. Just rely on Maybe, sort of maybe on over like a year or two or even three, eventually get 100%, but yeah. bring it in slowly. Mm-hmm. So Sally, like people that feel like Sally will eventually get adapted to it instead of doing it all now, mm-hmm. where you will have a lot of complaints about the system. I mean, how do you feel as a group about being part of a project that is about this introduction um, and for us it's the process of implementing a blended learning approach how do you feel about being part of that project I feel we should have started a lot earlier like we're in the last six mm. months we're in the last five six months now of it's our not course. really worth us yeah. starting they yeah. should have really just done the first years and then the first years had two years I'm yeah. not saying I wouldn't want an iPad yeah. but <laughs> still it's not really it's massively <laughs> worth it mm. yeah. I, I, I kind of think that if we've got all of this technology like these days, it's a waste not to use it to our mm. advantage. And if it can help us with education, mm. that's even better. Yeah. And what about in the future? Do you see it as being any benefit to you in the future? Oh yeah, definitely. In what? Like, when you when you go like in the future, like when you go out to work and stuff, a lot of jobs involve technology, like especially jobs that we are most likely to go into after doing a business course at college. Mm. We are a lot like. 
yeah, like accounting and, and, and stuff. The it's all very yeah. dependent yeah. on technology. The thing I like about paper based, which I don't think we should get rid of, like Socrative works <clears throat> like so we can write down our um Targets. Correct me if I'm wrong, but mm. yeah, like I was going to say, targets. And that doesn't really help us because it gets sent to our teachers. Mm. But when it was on paper, we could file it away to ourselves so we could see what our yeah, targets were and what we could, and what we met. So, mm. and we could, we could always look back on yeah. it, like Ellie said. Mm. So, like, Karen yeah, did show me something with that where what happens is she gets an email <clears> from all of the students who have answered. Like once it's all done and once mm. she's closed the mm. socket thing down, she gets an email of all the results. And then singly, she can, if we wanted to, we could get them all of our own results emailed yeah. to us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So that's making sense. That's something that wasn't really explained to us. Mm. Like, so we didn't ever get told that. We just got told to put your targets in, right. press next. So, she so gets yeah, it, obviously, that was explained. I mean, I've used Socrative, but I use it in a slightly different way. So you're just asked to put your targets down as a short it's, it's, it's like a little questionnaire. You literally yes. get, um, what are the targets for this lesson? And then, or what are the aims and objectives for this session? And then, and then you get what is your then. personal target for this session? And, and you just then. literally, once you've pressed next on both, mm. it sends them off to like whoever your tutor is that day. Mm. And then once she's got them, as Kieran said, there is a way of you getting them back. But mm. that's not explained mm. to you. And again, it's it means that our tutor's got to send, like, if you've got a class of 18, that's 18 individual em- emails mm. every time you want your target sent back um, to you. Based on questionnaires, like, I think it's good, like, Survey Monkey. Mm. It, in that way, it'll be good because if we, I was doing a survey and I wanted you, all of you, to answer it, mm. then I get the results and that's all that's important. But when it's things like targets, I think we shouldn't be reliant on ca- Karen sending it to us because if we were to do it at home, like I said, we got to wait. If we done it on a Friday, we have to wait to the Monday to even be able to speak to a teacher. Mm. Like I think that's just better paper based. If it's a questionnaire, mm. I think it's probably the best way because we get the results back ourselves and we can work from it from there. But otherwise, there I don't certain, know. Yeah. Like certain ta- like okay. certain things that is going to benefit from the technology, and there are other things that you might still we might yeah. well people will still prefer being on that paper base. Mm. Okay, I'm I'm just. Well, I think it's got good benefits. Yeah, I think it's got good benefits. Just don't go mad with the technology. Mm. Okay. Uh. Um, <laughs> can I just, just ask one more question about Socrative? The reason why I'm asking that is because it sounds like Karen has, is using Socrative in a particular way that it wasn't necessarily designed to do. I mean, my understanding is it provides a quiz set up for multiple yeah. choice, true and false, then you've got the yeah. short answer. So she's obviously using the short answer option to use it as... Uh, she has showed us that, yeah. the, the yeah. questionnaire yeah, version. Yeah, we have done questionnaires. Yeah, we have done yeah. questionnaires. Mm. And, and she also used it as well, like, the other because we, we were doing a task on, um, like, individual companies about, mm. like, their ethical issues and stuff. Yeah. And she used that in a way for us to all, like, pick or select what company we was doing Mm. but rather than her just listing the ones that she knew was the ones that she sort of said to us to go for we all had to sort of enter our own ones individually but it was really confusing because you was meant to enter your own one individually and then select your own one as what one you was doing so it was like you was creating your own little questionnaire and then answering your own questionnaire (laughs) it was really confusing (laughs) okay um I think we've covered everything and a few more points that um, I plan to ask you and I think we've covered the sort of areas that that Charlotte was keen to see coming out of this session so can I thank you all very much for your time um, and very good input really very interesting very good range of of ideas and experiences and and thoughts and comments so thank you all very much for that thank you thank you